the grammar now. The grammar is uh, quite intensive today. We're going to see a lot. Uh, unit 42 grammar. Um, this is just an introduction to the perfect tenses. We have the form have plus the past participle. The meaning is the perfect tenses is give all the idea that there is an action or situation that is linked to a time or an event. That's a key word, there's linked. Some people say that it uh, continues, but I think that's not a good uh, description because you have the difference between the perfect simple and the perfect continuous that sometimes is uh, different, okay? Let's look at the perfect present perfect intro. Here you have the past, we have a question mark, some time, we don't know, and then the present, and then the future. So Tom has already eaten. Tom finished eating sometime before now. The exact time of the action is not important, but the action is linked to the present with already. Okay, now we don't really need already. You could also say Tom has eaten. Who's eaten? Tom has eaten. Uh, but already gives the idea. In the past, we have the question, we have an event, and then we have now. Okay, we're not going to talk about the future. The uh, first part is eat, and the second part is arrive. Tom had already eaten when his friend arrived. Okay, so first, Tom finished eating. Later, his friend arrived. The action of eating was completely finished before another time in the past, but it is linked to the action of arriving. Tom had already eaten. So that, that action is finished when I arrive, when his friend arrived. The future perfect, we have the past, we have now, we have a question, eat, and a, uh, another event, arrive. So, C, Tom will have already eaten, or will already have eaten, when his friend arrives. First, Tom will arrive. Sorry. First, Tom will finish eating, and then his friend will arrive. The action of eating will be completely finished before another time in the future, but it is linked to the action of arriving. So, you see that there is something common here with the all of the perfect tenses. Okay, let's look at the per progressive. The present, the perfect, pre present perfect progressive. Okay, or the perfect progressives in, in general. We have have plus been, and then the verb is in the present participle with the ing. So the perfect progressive tenses give the idea that one event is in progress and I have a symbol here to show you that that action is in progress immediately before up to or until another time or event. These sentences are used to express the duration of the first event not exactly when it happened. So let's look at the present perfect. All right we have the past, we have two hours, this space is two hours, and then you see that this action is still in progress. Okay, it's happening now, and uh, then it's in the future. So the example is Tom has been studying for two hours. So the action is in progress, and I'm telling you two hours. Studying, when, before, now, up to now, how long for two hours? Two hours at the time that I speak, right? At the time that I speak. Uh, the action began in the past, still in the preg in the progress, still in progress, but the tense is used to give the duration of the action up to now. Okay, so this is happening now, and I'm telling you for two hours, this has been happening. Past perfect, we have begin study in the past, we have two hours, all of this is two hours, and it comes to another point, which is come, and here we also have this arrow that is showing you that the action is in progress okay at the time that you come okay Tom had been studying for two hours before his friend came so began study past two hours then the friend comes so the event was in progress 
when before another event come in the past how long for two hours in other words the action began in the past and was still in progress at the time of the second action so the tense is used to give the duration of the action up to another action in the past the future perfect progressive we have the past we have now we have two hours sorry I begin studying and then I arrive uh, that's another uh, action that is in progress at the time I speak so Tom will have been studying for two hours by the time his friend arrives the action will be in progress studying when before another event his friend arrives in the future how long for two hours in other words the action will begin in the future and will still be up in progress at the time of a second action the arriving so the tense is used to give a duration of the action up to another action in the future now it is possible that this action of studying can be here in the past it it's possible because he will have been studying for two hours maybe this this new time segment is two hours now it's not from two hours from the now from the present but uh, two hours including the present so it's complicated let's look at these charts okay you have Tom studies every day that's a simple present the present progressive Tom is studying right now action in progress simple past Tom, Tom studied last night we have a point in the past no link to the present Tom was studying when they came around when they came okay this is the past progressive he was studying at the moment they came so I need a precise indicator of the past and then an action in progress simple future Tom will study tomorrow simply it's in the future no link nothing to do with the, the present future progressive Tom will be studying when you come so we have an action in the future that is in progress at the time of another action or event when you come we have the present perfect Tom has already studied chapter one you see that there are two X's here because I have one thing he started studying and one thing now they are linked somehow they are linked even if it's just not the fact that one is concluded or not or that one doesn't know when present perfect progressive Tom has been studying for two hours now I have the action in progress at the time of speaking it started two hours ago so uh, action in progress past perfect we have two events in the in the past Tom had already studied chapter one before he began studying chapter chapter two so this first action is completely finished before the second action okay Pres past perfect progressive Tom had been studying for two hours before his friends came here we have again two actions in the past the first action starts starts studying and then the second action his friends come and he is doing that action at the moment that they come so it's in progress the future perfect you have two events in the future Tom will have already studied chapter 4 before he studies chapter 5 we really don't know when these two actions happen but they are linked one is before the other the future perfect we have the two actions or events Tom will have been studying for two hours by the time that his roommate gets home so he starts studying in the future he's studying at the moment that his friend his roommate gets home all right let's go back and look at the present perfect a little closer the present perfect expresses the idea that something happened or never happened before now at an unspecific time in the past the exact time is not important if there is a specific mention of time the simple past is used this is rule number one get it into your head if you use the past if you tell me when then it's simple past they moved into an apartment last month last month tells me exactly when it happened so it has to be in the past they have moved into a new apartment you see I'm not telling you when it's not important when they just have moved this is an experience 
Notice the examples, the adverbs ever, never, already, yet, still, and just are frequently used with the present perfect. They represent example, examples of unspecific time. A. Have you ever visited Mexico? B. I've never seen the snow. C. I have already seen that movie. D. Jack hasn't seen it yet. E. Anne started a letter to her parents last week, but, it's, but she still hasn't finished it. And F. Alex feels bad. He's just heard some bad news. So, he has just heard. Uh, she still hasn't finished. Hasn't seen it yet. Uh, that's a negative, so we're using yet. I have seen it already. That's positive, so we use already. The present perfect also expresses the repetition of an activity before now. The exact time of each repetition is not important, so notice in G so far is frequently used with the present perfect. We have had four tests so far this semester. So far tells you that it is up until the present. So it's linked to the present. H, I've already written, I have written a letter to my wife every day for the last two weeks. Uh, I have written, okay, uh, every day for the last two weeks is a repetition. Uh, e, I, I'm sorry, I, I've already met many people since I came here in June, since I came here in June, repetition. I have flown in a plane many times. I'm not interested to know when or to express when. The present perfect when used with for or since also expresses a situation that began in the past and continues to the present. In the examples, notice the difference between since and for. Since is a particular time, for is a duration. Since, point, for, period. K, I have been here since seven o'clock, period, since. L, we have been here for two weeks, two weeks, period, four. M, I have had the same pair of shoes for three years. I have N, I have liked cowboy movies ever since I was a child. A new subject and verb can come after since. You see, I'm constructing a new sentence here, a new phrase with a subject and a verb, but it's after since. Oh, I've already, I've known him for many years. <clears throat> okay, you can do exercises one, two, and three if you have access to that. Present perfect progressive. This tense is used to indicate the duration of an activity that began in the past, continues to the present. When the tense has this meaning, it is used with time words for, since, all morning, all day, all week. Right now I'm sitting at my desk. A. I've been sitting here since 7 o'clock. B. I've been sitting here for two hours. C. You have been studying for five straight hours. Why don't you take a break? D, it has been raining all day. It is still raining now. Okay, actions are in progress at the time I'm speaking. I'm giving you the duration. Reminder, verbs with stative meanings are not used in the progressive. The present perfect, not the present perfect progressive, is used with stative verbs to describe the duration of a state rather than an activity that began in the past and continues to the present. I have known Alex since he was a child. We do not say I have been knowing Alex because know is stative. When the verb is used without any specific mention of time, it expresses a general activity in progress recently, lately. I've been thinking about changing my major. Okay, so I've been thinking. This is something that is continuing. It's an, uh, uh, There's no mention of time. It's a general activity in progress. H. All of the students have been studying hard. Final exams start next week. Have been studying hard. That's a, uh, a progressive idea. My back hurts, so I've been sleeping on the floor lately. The bed is too soft. Okay, I have been sleeping. Uh, this is maybe I'm not sleeping now well if I'm speaking I'm not sleeping so it's just a repetitive action maybe or uh, it's a verb that has a kind of a long-term idea with certain verbs mo notably live work teach but also study read there is little or no difference in the meaning be between the two tenses when since or for is used 
Jay, I've lived here since 1995. I've been living here since 1995. Basically the same. K, he has worked at the same store for 10 years. He has been working at the same store for 10 years. If you use since or for, it really doesn't make any difference. <clears throat> past perfect. The past perfect uh, expresses an activity that was completed before another activity or time in the past. Mm -hmm. Sam had already left by the time Anne got there, okay? Uh, Anne got there, uh, Sam already left. B, the thief simply walked in, somebody had forgotten to lock the door. First had forgotten, this, the thief just walked in. Uh, first Sam left, and got there. C, uh, Sam had already left, and got there. If either before or after is used in the sentence, the past perfect is often not necessary because the time relationship is already clear. The simple past may be used as in E and G. Note that D and E have the same meaning. F and G have the same meaning. Uh, Sam had left before Anne got there. Uh, Sam left before Anne got there. After the guests had left, I went to bed. After the guests left I went to bed so F and G are the same you can do exercise 5 if you have access to that the past perfect progressive the past perf perfect progressive emphasizes the duration of an activity that was in progress before another activity or time in the past the police had been looking for the criminal for two years before they caught him had been looking shows that uh, had been looking I'll just emphasize that a little bit or oh, no let's just put it in the accent yeah had been looking Eric finally came at six o'clock I had been waiting for the for him uh, and this is also had been waiting I had been waiting is accented uh, her hair was still wet because she had been swimming and at the funeral her eyes because she had been crying uh, that's also accented okay sorry uh, Eric finally came at six o'clock I had been waiting for him since 4 30 Okay, the tense may also express an activity in progress close to another time in the past. When Anne got home, when Judy got home, her hair was still wet because she had been swimming. Hair was wet. I see that. She had been swimming, I can imagine. D. I went to Jane's house after the funeral. Her eyes were red because she had been crying. She wasn't crying right in front of me, but very, very soon uh, before she was will and be going to okay the difference between will and be going to going to is often pronounced gonna uh, the contracted form of will plus not is won't jack will finish his work tomorrow jack is going to finish his work tomorrow anna will not be here tomorrow anna won't be here tomorrow to express a prediction use either will or be going to when the speaker is making a prediction a statement about something he or she thinks will be true or will occur in the future either will or going to be going to is possible there's no real difference between a and b uh, jack will finish his work jack is going to finish his work um, there's no difference in C and D. According to the weather report, it will be cloudy tomorrow. According to the weather report, it's going to be cloudy tomorrow. C, be careful, you'll hurt yourself. Watch out, you're going to hurt yourself. To express a prior plan, in other words, a future intention, use only be going to. When the speaker is pr expressing a prior plan, something the speaker intends to do in the future because in the past he or she has made a plan or a decision to do it, only be going is used. Okay, we'll see the example E. Uh, speaker B has made a prior plan. Last week she decided to paint her bedroom. She intends to paint it tomorrow. Uh, why did you paint the 
why did you buy this paint? I'm going to buy, I'm going to paint my bedroom tomorrow. So she intends to paint it. She has intention. She's already got the paint. In F, I talked to Bob yesterday. He was tired of talking, taking the bus to work. He's going to buy a car. That's what he told me. So Bob intends to buy a car. He made the decision in the past and he plans to act on his, this decision in the future. Will is not appropriate in these examples. I will paint my bedroom tomorrow is a little bit strange. We Strange because we express willingness or spontaneousness with will. Look at G. The phone's ringing. I'll get it. In this sentence, B is saying, I'm willing, I'm happy to get the phone. He is not making a prediction. He has not made a prior plan to answer the phone. He is volunteering to answer the phone and uses will to show his willingness. In H, I don't understand this problem. Ask your teacher about it. She'll help you. In this example, the speaker B feels sure about this teacher's willingness to help. Be going is not appropriate in these cases. The phone's ringing. I'll be going to get it. Ask your teacher. She'll be going to help you. Those are not. Uh, she'll be going. She'll be going to help you. Yeah, it's not appropriate. She will. She is going to help you. Situation one. Are you busy this evening? B. Yes, I'm going to meet Jack at the library at seven. We're going to study together. In this situation, only be going to is possible. The speaker has a prior plan, so he uses be going to. Okay, so uh, be going to, I'm going to meet. Okay, let's accent that. Are you busy this evening? I'm going to eat dinner. Or I'll probably watch, or I'm probably going to watch. Okay, so, um, are you busy this evening? Well, I haven't made any plans. I'll eat, or I'm going to eat it out, of course. And then I'll probably watch, or I'm probably going to watch TV for a little while. Situation two, either will or going to is possible. B has not planned his evening. He's predicting his evening, rather than stating prior plans. So he may use will or be going to. Do exercise seven. Uh, okay, expressing the future in time clauses. Uh, we still have quite a bit to go. Expressing the pre present progressive and the simple present. Okay, the present progressive may be used to express future time when the idea of the sentence concerned a plan concerns a planned event or definite intention. Compare. A verb such as rain is not used in the present progressive to indicate future, future time because rain is not a planned event. A future meaning for the present progressive tense is indicated either by future time words in the sentence or by the context. Let's look a little closer. Present progressive. My wife has an appointment with the doctor. She is seeing Dr. North next Tuesday. Sam has already made his plans. He's leaving at noon tomorrow. C, what are you going to do this afternoon? B, after lunch, I'm meeting a friend of mine. We're going shopping. Would you like to come along? The simple present can also be used to express future time in a sentence concerning events that are on a definite schedule or timetable. These sentences usually contain future time words. Only a few verbs are used in this way. Open, close, begin, end, start, finish, arrive, leave, come, return. Okay, I read, uh, I read the book tomorrow. Uh, it's not really, I read the book tomorrow at 5 o'clock. You wouldn't really say that, only in a very particular way. Simple present. Museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning. Classes begin next week. F, John plane, John's plane arrives at 6, 5, 6 5 p.m. next Monday. So we have arrives because we know that 6.05 the plane does that. 
Future progressive. The future progressive expresses an activity that will be in progress at a time in the future. I will begin to study at 7. You will come at 8. I will be studying when you come. Right now I'm sitting in class. At this same time tomorrow I will be sitting in class. The progressive form of be going to is be going to be with ing. C. Don't call me at 9 because I won't be home. I'm going to be studying at the library. Sometimes you see going to be. I'm. I've made a plan that's already a, a, uh, in my schedule. Sometimes there is little or no difference between the future progressive and the simple future, especially when the future event will occur at an indefinite time in the future, as in D and D. Don't get impatient. She will be coming soon. Soon is indefinite. Don't get impatient. She'll come soon. It's a little bit different when you have a specific time, okay? Future perfect. The future perfect expresses an activity that will be completed before another time or an event in the future. Note, by the time introduces a time clause. The simple present is used in that time clause. So, A. I will graduate in June. I will see you in July. By the time I see you, I will have graduated. You see? By the time I see you. That's present. It's subject verb, but it's in the present tense, even though it is in the future. Well, it's not really in the future. It's a time reference. Okay? I will have finished my homework by the time I go out on the date tonight. I go out on the date, simple present. I will have finished. Future perfect progressive. The future perfect progressive emphasizes the duration of an activity that will be in progress before another time or event in the future. C. I will go to bed at 10 p.m. PM. Ed will get home at midnight. At midnight, I will be sleeping. I will have been sleeping for two hours by the time Ed gets home. Okay, do you understand that? 10 p.m., go to bed. Midnight, Ed gets home. Midnight, I'm sleeping. I will have been sleeping two hours, from 10 to midnight. Sometimes the future perfect and the future perfect progressive have the same meaning, as in D and E. Also, notice the activity expressed by either of these two tenses may begin in the past. So, when Professor Jones retires next month, he will have taught for 45 years. E. When Professor Jones retires next month, he will have been teaching for 45 years. So, a little difference, not, not much difference between these two sentences. Usually, the progressive is used to emphasize a little bit more the action of the verb.